Hey everybody, welcome to the show, and welcome once again to our kitchen on our series on Asian soups, sort of. Um, you know, when we started this project, I went, hey, there's all these different types of bouillon. I'll make soup out of them. And as you saw last week, we started to slide off the road on that one with, with stew. Well, uh, this week, yeah, we're, we're off the road. We're, We've come completely off the rails. Um, so this week, the one we're trying is Ko Tiu. And that translation, the best I can get, is dry pepper. So I uh, I looked this up, and this is, again, not a, not a soup base. This is a bouillon for a marinade. Now, the, the instructions were translated... Um, there, there is a couple of sentences in English back here, and also, I think, French, but we're translated from Vietnamese, and the instructions say to dissolve one cube of this in three soup spoons of water. Now, soup spoon is kind of a vague term, so, and Bev and I had a discussion about what constitutes a soup spoon. Whether it's a large souving spoon or a tablespoon. Anyway, we decided to go with tablespoons. So anyway, I, I popped open our our cotillo. And it's really dark. So I hope the camera can pick that up nicely. And it's got a very pungent smell. And I can't... We don't have a common frame of reference, folks. I can't tell you. Well, it smells like such and such. Certainly, it's a very aromatic, um, and there are definitely some kind of uh, peppers in there. Um, not necessarily hot peppers, but some sort of so, a pepper. Um, so, anyway, being a marinade, I'm going to go ahead and make this as a marinade, but you don't, uh, you don't then make it into a soup. The instructions, this is kind of cute... Um, is then, you know, to, to marinate uh, 150 grams of meat, about five and a third ounces, uh, or fish, for half an hour, and simmer until the juice boils away. Now, it, this is what in French would be called au sec, almost dry. So that's a, that's a fairly common, you know, cooking technique. So we're going to try, because this, I, I, I knew this was going to happen eventually. <laughs> we were going to run into something that was like, weird. And, again, given the aroma, and aroma and taste are so closely related, I don't know. So I'm going to just do one pork chop that uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make up the marinade. And I'm going to marinate one pork chop for half an hour. And we're going to cook that in its own individual little pan to kind of contain that juice close to the meat. And cook it down till it's all sec. And then... <laughs> We're going to just go ahead and try it like that. So uh, this week, folks, it's not a soup, um, but we are going to get to experience the uh, Bao Long Kotiu bouillon and see exactly what that's like. So I've got my three tablespoons of water here. Now, I did notice last time when I was making a marinade that this stuff is, is more reluctant to dissolve at room temperature than I had originally thought. So it needs a little prompting with some heat. So I've got this stainless steel two and a half cup measuring cup. And I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to put my single bouillon cube in here. And toss this on the flame to get it to dissolve on the range. And we've got our, our kettle cam going. So, I'm going to take it kind of easy on that because it's small. And let me just grab a spoon. And I'm going to just get a hold of this and try to... I mean, it's not, it's not like a brick. It's, you know, it does come apart. But it needs a little prompting to dissolve. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to heat this up, get it dissolved. I'm going to use our 
trusty marinated marinating bag. It's a sandwich bag. And uh, let this cool down a little bit, put it in the bag, stick it in the fridge for half an hour, bring it out, I'll show you what it's like, and we'll put it in a pan and cook it down all sec. Stay with us, be right back. Our half hour has passed with our cotillou in the marinade bag. And uh, yeah, I think tablespoon is probably what they meant when they said soup spoon. Uh, I doubt that it was a larger spoon than that because this has to be cooked down off sec. So I'm going to just transfer this all. Now it says on there then broil, grill or broil. I don't know how you'd grill something off sec. I really don't. But I'm going to fry it so that I can contain all of that marinade in the pan. Now it's been some time since I've cooked au sec. I think last time I did that it was when I was making a beurre blanc, which is a, a butter sauce. Been a while. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to transfer that onto the stove, fire it up, and I'm going to turn this down to uh, medium low. Because you don't want to, you don't want to boil it. Really, you want to, you want to reduce all that moisture out of the pan, and then you crank the heat back up a little bit and bring it up to a like a sauté. So this is going to take a little while, but I think this this pan worked out perfectly. It's a six-inch cast iron pan. It was just just big enough to hold all of that juicy goodness in close to the meat. Um, Yeah, it's definitely a, a combination of, of dried peppers. I, I don't know which kind. Not hot peppers, but, um, you know, certainly like um, the aromatic peppers. Um, like the, I can't think of the name of it, but it's the pepper that uh, paprika is made out of and uh, those sorts of uh, aromatic peppers. Not really any appreciable heat, a little tiny hint of heat. Uh, in the back of my throat right now, but uh, you know it's really hard to say. Bev and I have been. Um, this has been kind of a rough week for us. Um, we've been both suffering from uh, various manifestations of sinusitis. You can probably hear her <laughs> coughing in the background. Well, we're just trying to keep going. So uh, on this start to boil. So I'm going to bring this down just a little. I do want it to boil because I want to cook that moisture off. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to bring this down, and then we'll come back as we're getting down to that last stage of, of au sec. I think I misspoke myself. I said I was going to cook this down and then give it a little saute. Well, you're never really going to get to a saute. When you cook something au sec, it's just what it says. You cook it down till it's almost dry. And at that point, it should be done. So that's why it says simmer this in the the bullion, the marionette, until the juice is almost gone. And at that point, if you've done this right, it should be cooked through. Now, I, I may have made a poor choice in using pork. Uh, usually, you like to have your pork done and, you know, not take a chance on having it medium or rare. However, unless something's changed in the last few years, and I'm unaware of it. Um, the reason that we obviously we cook pork till it's done is because there was a um, an organism that lived in it uh, that was not all that detrimental to the pig, although not really good for it, but very very bad for us. Uh, called a trichina worm. Uh, that it, if you consume, would get into your muscle tissues and call a, cause a uh, condition called trigonosis. Um, there hasn't been a reported case of trichina in the United States, last I knew, since 1939. Uh, so even before I was born. Quite a while before I was born, folks. So the likelihood, statistically, of getting trichina from rare pork is almost zero. But our, our marionade, you can see here in our cam, 
is getting very, very thick, very, very low. We're getting very close to what I would, you know, what would be called an, an all sec. And <laughs> that's why I had to start the cameras again and start doing this because when it happens, it's like, boom, you're there. Um, I wasn't going to have a lot of lead time once we get to that point. So in the interim, you're going to have to just keep me company and wait for the magic to happen. But there's no, you, there's no thickening uh, in this. It's just the, the seasoning. The thickening is merely from slowly evaporating out all the moisture. We're getting very close. I'm going to grab myself a plate. It smells good, but it, it, is a, it is a new aroma to me. So it is foreign or exotic, depending on one point, one's point of view, uh, to what I'm accustomed to. It smells good, but it's a, it's a whole combination. And one of the uh, translations, by the way, for, this, for the second word, teal, came up as allspice. But it, it doesn't really smell quite like the allspice we're used to, that kind of clovey, cinnamon, nutmeggy kind of smell. But maybe vaguely reminiscent of it with, you know, mixed with some peppers. Um, but it's, it's that sort of an aromatic smell. Grab my towel so I don't burn my little self. Because these cast iron pans, they, they're very unforgiving in that regard. So you can see here, I hope, in the uh, in the stove cam that that is, you know, that moisture is, is bubbling, but it's like a very, very thick gravy. So at this point, you could consider that, I would say that qualifies as au sec, as almost dry. And it appears our pork is done. I'm not seeing any redness come out of it. So that's it. It's just, you've got to have the patience to reduce all the moisture off of it. So there is our couture, and I'm going to go ahead and save that on there because it's pretty and it tastes nummy. And there we are, folks. I will come over here to the crane and show you there is our couture marinated pork chop. And, uh, well, I know what pork tastes like, so I'm just going to taste the... Now, because it's been reduced and reduced and reduced down, the salt that's in it, and there is some salt in it, is concentrated, so that's kind of the, just the uh, seasoning is quite salty, but... Yeah, again, it's got that aromatic... Kind of flavor about it that, um, well, without a common frame of reference, but it's it's not uh, it's foreign, it's exotic, um, certainly like something you would experience in an Asian restaurant, whether that was Vietnamese or Korean or Chinese, whatever, an Asian Pacific Rim restaurant, you you would recognize that as being you know a flavor from that part of the world, but uh, very pleasant uh, and not you know not overly spicy or and certainly no, you know, no hot to it. So that, folks, is our experience with Cotien. I'm sorry that, you know, when I promised you a series on soup, that they're not all turning out to be soups. 
but that's what you get when you're functionally illiterate, you know? I mean, I walk in and I don't read the language at all. I don't read, you know, and I'm going, yeah, well, that's, I recognize that those are bullion cubes and I'm going to use them for what I think you normally would use bullion for. So in the process, we're learning some things. And I guess that's, uh, that's what it's all about. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you've got questions or comments, I will do the best I can to answer them. Please leave them in the comments section below. Stop and say hi. We love hearing from everybody. I try to get back to everybody I can. If you're new here, hey, pick subscribe. Come along for the adventure. we got lots more to show you, folks. And as always, thank you for watching.